Hello everybody, it's time for another Halloween story today. This is Alice in Wonderland with Queen of Fright. Where are we going again, Alice? asked the Mad Hunter. As they dashed through Wonderland together. Well then, what is the right question, Alice asked confused. Oh. Oh, sorry, where isn't the right question, the Mad Hatter said. Well then, what is the right question, Alice asked confused. Not what, why, the Mad Hatter replied. What we are doing is having fun. You should ask me why we are going. I shook her head. Wonderland's logic was a bit confusing, but she was finally getting the hang of it. Very well. Why are we going? I don't know why, the man had her answer. Just know that we are in a hurry. The man had her rushed along. And a curious Alice followed behind. Her head, the skies grew darker. Fat raindrops began to fall. The Mad Hatter plucked a flower and handed it to her. A little rain never hurt anyone. Here, use this. Nearby at the castle, the Queen of Hearts was feeling quite cranky. She had not slept well the night before and was in need of a good long nap. If anyone disturbs me, I will have their heads, she barked at the guard as she stomped into her royal chamber. Spotting the rain streaming in through the open window, the Queen frowned. Nasty rain, she muttered, closing the shutters tight. Then she took off her crown, placed it gently on the table beside her, and climbed into bed. In no time at all, the Queen of Hearts was sound asleep, but the Queen was not a quiet sleeper, and she was soon snoring so loud that she woke herself up. When she opened her eyes, she saw that the table beside her was empty. My crown, she cried, jumping up off out of bed. The Queen of Hearts looked around frantically. Finally, she spotted the crown on the other side of the room. This is the same kind of trick the Queen This is some kind of trick the Queen said. Then she raised her voice so that everyone could hear her. Whoever is trying to trick me will lose their head. The Queen climbed back into bed and closed her eyes. Before she could even start snoring, a strange sound filled her room. Creak. Creak. What is that? Racket. She cried, sitting up. Then she saw the rocking chair swaying back and forth, back and forth. Huh. It must be a breeze, the queen told herself. But the windows and the shutters were shut tight. Just as she lit, left them, something else is moving the chair. Who's there? The queen yelled. She tried sounding threatening, but her voice was beginning to shake. She stomped across the room and stopped at the rocking chair. Stopped the rocking chair from rocking. Then she climbed back in the bed and tried to go back to sleep. Queen Arch closed her eyes. 
She had just started snoring when a new voice woke her up. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Queen looked up in bed and saw the door to her wardrobe swung wide open. The hinges were making near a squeak sound. When whoever is trying to trick me will I lose their heads. The queen shuddered in, in a frightening whisper. She ran up and closed the wardrobe. Then she turned back to her bed. Creak, creak. The queen spun around. Something had come out of the wardrobe. It had legs and no feet. It had arms but no hands. The worst of all, it had no head. Ah, the queen of hearts screamed, a ghost! Alice and the Mad Hatter had just arrived outside the castle when they heard this queen scream. Oh my! Is this where we are? The Mad Hatter said, There is not a good where. We should go. Alice turned to follow the Mad Hatter. She spotted something on the ground. I think I know why we are doing what we are doing. We need to go inside the castle. A few moments later, Alice and the Mad Hatter burst into the Queen's chamber. Ghost! Ghost! The Queen of Hearts yelled. She was as white as a sheet and trembling from head to toe. The March Hare. Alice marched up to the ghost and pulled off the shirt. It was the March Hare. The little, the little Dormouse peeking out from the front pocket of the March Hare's jacket. Remember now, the Mad Hatter cried, we are playing hide and seek. We were looking for a place to hide and the March Hare said, but nowhere seems to work. The crown was too small and the chair was too crazy and the wardrobe was too stuffy. Queen of Hearts turned a deep shade of red. Off with your head, she screamed. The Mad Hatter knew when it was time to go. He tapped the march here, here on the shoulder. You're it, he cried, and turned and ran off. Alice followed him. The pilot started chasing after her. Off with their heads, the Queen of Hearts screamed again. Outside, the rain had stopped. But luckily the ground was still muddy. The guards slipped and slipped and slid, giving Alice and her friends a chance to get away. Back at the Mad Hatter's garden, Alice and her friends enjoyed a nice cup of tea. That was fun, the Mad Hatter explained. The March Hare agreed. Let's play play another game, he said. What do you say, Alice? The man asked. I think I've had enough games for one day. Alice replied, I'm quite fond of my head, and I'd like to give it. All right, that was today's story. Just a little update. We are at 61 days in a row of videos without missing a single day. So, till we see each other tomorrow. And we do this again. Bye-bye for now.